I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I'm a big pussy. Hey, guys. All right, so I'm at the dentist now. Um, I should have made another video working up to this, but basically my whole life I've had teeth issues, uh, primarily my adult life. And at this point, I've only got three teeth left on top. I got one back here, which is cracked and hurts really bad. And then I got those two right there. And that's it. Uh, but I've got seven, seven others. And I know that now because I've got the x-rays and I've already been in the dentist and they've already given me the price and everything else. Those all have to be surgically removed. Um, and we're doing that today. So I'm getting a full upper dentures and a bottom partial. So when I'm done, I'll have all my teeth. And he did suggest a partial over extracting the teeth I have left on the bottom, which are just, just these. Now there's nothing, wait, it goes back to right there. And then I got one more back here and then nothing on this side. So that's gonna be a partial. So those teeth are all good, they're strong, they're solid. It's better opportunity or better option to go with a partial than a full denture on the bottom because bottom dentures a lot of you already have dentures so you know how this works um the bottom dentures are very hard to fit they're very hard to keep in where your upper dentures just naturally through suction up on your the roof of your mouth staying a lot better so that's what we're doing uh total cost of all extractions the partial and the thing is 1745 dollars um and that's after my insurance uh, my insurance actually paid about 50% of it, uh, from what I see, and uh, I didn't want to go for financing because if we don't get financing, then it's a strike on my credit because they checked it and you don't get it, and that's the way I understand credit. And I'm really in this mindset of trying to build my credit. I've, I've been doing really good on it for the past couple of years. So um, my wife took a loan on her 401k. Um, which we really didn't want to do, but at least we're not paying interest to somebody else. The interest that's paid on that goes to her, and it's it's a free loan basically. So I just paid it. That hurt, <laughs> seventeen hundred and forty-five dollars, but that's all right. Um, right now I'm waiting outside because they're making my dentures. They're going to do a fit, and to make sure that they come together right and all this kind of crap. I really don't understand some of it because I still have all my teeth. But whatever, that's what they're doing next. I gotta go in in two minutes and go through that process. And then I'll let you know from there. If I end up getting knocked down into the seat and done, then we're doing it. So I'm gonna ask, it's not gonna hurt to ask if I can just set my camera down and let it roll. I know he'll say no, but I'll give it a shot. I'll be back y'all. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I'm a big pussy. Hey, so here we are. We are about um, two hours done with the dentist um, on the first day. Turned out I had to have 10 teeth pulled. Seven were below the gum. Three were above it. Um, I got to tell you, A, one day dentures, incredible. This dude... The doctor there, forget his name, black dude, um, older guy, probably not older, like my age. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you, I'm very impressive, Marion. My my problem is with the needle when they they're numbing your gums. When he he put the first stick in, I didn't even know it. Um, the way he did it shaking my gum you know and other people did that too but he did it in a different way that when i realized what he was doing i was like holy shit and i told him this straight up doc you're damn good you fooled me you fooled me you a sly son bitch and i told him that and he laughed and i was able to go through all the rest uh getting the needle in there and to me you guys have seen some of the stuff i've done i'll put a clip in right here it's too close to my face, man. Let's do this. This is safe. Big button. I go. Oh, shit. I forgot to cut.
So I look like shit. You look good. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. Can we turn? Oh, I feel like. Can we turn towards the side? Somebody put a dollar in my. Don't grab me. What's going on? Well, let me just get the first guy. Just the guy that's getting hit. Watch them all three go down. Get them all three. Hold them by the shirt. You're going to get electrocuted too. So maybe this one. Oh, he's going to get it. He knows it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God damn it. That's it. Done. You're done. Oh, you Off, let me explain myrrh to you. Myrrh is a tree sap from uh, South Africa. Um, if you're a religious person, it was one of the gifts that uh, one of the wise men gave the sweet baby Jesus. It's got a tremendous amount of medicinal needs. Oh. That should sterilize it pretty good. But I'm thinking this will sterilize it better. Yep, I think that's ready. All right, so now we burn. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Smells like chicken. All right. Oh. So you see, I'm not a smart man. I do have a good to uh, pain tolerance until it comes to the inside of my mouth. Yeah, I know I'm talking weird. The lisp isn't nearly as bad as it was earlier. It's still bad, I know. Hopefully it goes away. If not, then I'm going to live my childhood all over again as a 50-some-odd-year-old man. But, whatever. I don't care. Uh, I got two first. I'll be able to eat better now. So, anyways, um, I was very impressed. Almost no pain whatsoever. The sticks on the inside of the, of the teeth, uh, yeah, you felt a lot more pinch there, a little bit more burn nothing like I felt before uh, so kudos if you're not in the area and you can't find somebody that can be recommended this highly I'd say come here uh, and I'll have this dentist office all their information down below now again I'm only a couple hours out so this could all change but I have my new dentures yay Look at this shit. Is that amazing? I'll slide in a picture of a before shot. Nasty. And this, my teeth weren't that bad from drugs or anything like that. I had a, a bout with cocaine when I was younger. I uh, went through rehab and shit like that, but uh, nothing that would have caused or a long term enough that would have caused my teeth issue. But everybody on my mom's side of the family has false teeth. So it's got to be a hereditary thing. Is what I'm guessing. So anyways, the procedure. After they get done, pull all the teeth. Which literally, I got there at 9.30. Took x-rays. Talked about financing. Um, we looked at different options. And I figured I don't want to get into any more payments. Uh, the doctor talked me out of sedation to where they just put me completely under. I'm glad he did. Um, I thought I was going to regret that, but I didn't. He was just that awesome. So that saved me 500 bucks right there. Um, I did have gas. And, uh, you know, so after we talked about all that, then they made impressions, top and bottom, because I am getting bottoms, uh, bottom partial. But that takes, because of mine, it's going to take about a week or so. I'll explain why I keep getting weird here for a second. Um, gonna take about a week or so to get those. But they did all the impressions. Then they started building them. And they let me go for about 45 minutes. Had me come back in. They had some already built. Uh, upper then lowers. And they did some fitting. And some color looking. You know, looking at the colors and all that stuff. Until they were satisfied, I was satisfied. It took about 10 minutes. That's all. And then they said, okay. Good to go. This was probably 
I'm guessing about 11.30, pushing noon. They said, we're, we're done with you for a while. Come back at 3.30. Basically, this is when they're building my upper dentures. And uh, I took off. I went and got some sushi because I figured I wasn't going to be able to eat rice for a while because I've dealt with, you know, worrying about uh, what you call it, um, dry, uh, dry socket and getting food down in there. Well, that's not a concern this way, according to my understanding. Um, and I'll explain. But, so I come back at 3.30, we get the ball rolling. They put me on gas. Uh, they give me a couple of spritz in the mouth of some painkiller. Then they do the, the uh, cream that goes on. That's a, even way more of a painkiller. Then it comes in and does the shots. And that's that's my issue. That's my part that I can't, I, I have a hell of a time dealing with. And again, he was phenomenal. I'm blown away at how good, how little it hurt. How well I was able to take it. Then, once he's good and he goes through and sticks here around, finds if there's any bit of pain. There were a couple spots that were still a little tender where he's sticking the needle in. Sounds brutal, but just work with me here. And uh, I'd feel a little something. And he'd go, okay. And then they'd put some more painkiller in until I didn't feel anything. And he went to work. Literally 45 minutes from the beginning, from 3.30 until about 4 15. i walked out of the dentist with my new dentures um when they put the new dentures in after they're all done and they put them in they fit them you know I'd, I'd bite down and see how they match see that no real gap there there was in the beginning because it was connecting it was connecting to the back molar that i have on this side on the bottom so they had me bite down on this marker tape or whatever and they kept just reforming it reforming it they had to to dr grind off some of the back because the issue i'm having which you see me have to stop and kind of take a second what <coughs> what that is is me getting used to having this thing on the roof of my mouth to where my my tongue doesn't go to the roof of my roof of my mouth in the back and it it feels like I'm gagging. I have a horrible gag reflex. Sorry, boys. Sorry. Oh, I got a great list for that now. Sorry, boys. Um, so I got to get used to that. Uh, when they first started, it was way worse. I couldn't even have them in. I just immediately start gagging. Um, so I'd make a horrible girlfriend. Sorry. Uh, they fix that. I'll get used to this. Now, these are only kind of a temporary thing. Um, in the way that I need to come back next week and they're going to see how these are going and readjust, do all that until I'm 100% healed. They've got all right. Then I think they're building new ones that are permanent and doesn't cost you any more. That's all built into this cost. Uh, now, when I left there, I was kind of surprised to find out that they want me to leave these in 24-7. I'm going to leave them in from the time from 24 hours from the time they put them in i'll take them out they gave me some uh mouth rinse stuff this stuff i can't show you everything because it's got all my info on it it's uh here i'm gonna go like that though there that's what it is uh chlorhexidine and i'm supposed to take these out once every 24 hours you just take them out rinse them off real good with that rinse my mouth out real good with that put them back in and leave them for another 24 hours so, <coughs> so that's going to help you with your your um dry socket and that kind of thing because they're completely covered not to mention if you take them out and leave them out for any amount of time more than a second or two you're not going to be able to get them back in because your gums are going to start swelling depending on how many teeth you have to have pulled i had 10 that's quite a bit um so you, you just leave them in and you can start eating the same day, although very soft stuff. There's a pain tolerance to it. Um, they did also give me uh, amoxicillin. We all know what amoxicillin is. Great, great uh, antiseptic. Prevents infections. 
Then they gave me uh, basically codeine, codeine number three. I already took one of these uh, right after I left. Um, and of course, take those once every six hours. And I'm going to do that uh, through tomorrow night. Uh, I want to get back on the road on Wednesday. Today is Monday. If I'm still having to take those, I'm not going to. I can't get on the road when I'm on coding, and uh, I can't take that risk. And I'm not going to suffer beyond, you know, a slight discomfort, something I can't deal with with ibuprofen or something like that. So hopefully I'll be back on the road Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. Um, then they also gave me uh, ibuprofen 800 milligrams. This is uh, take one tablet by mouth three times daily. This one shouldn't make me as drowsy, I assume. Um, but the drowsiness, the, you know, I got to have a, a straight head <laughs> to make that gag reflex. I'm sorry, I don't know why I went there. Um, and then I'll go back out on the road. Now, I got to come back next week, do that fitting like I was talking about. That's where I'm at, man. Um, I've been, I, I made a smoothie. That's what I'm going to eat today. Um, basically, I've got a hand crank uh, um, blender. I put in a, a whole banana, a handful of blueberries, uh, some creamy uh, peanut butter, and water. And just, meh, 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 meh. came out really good. Really good. Fairly nutritious. Um, so, we're good. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit of pain in some of these areas, but you know, a few hours in, I'll probably be taking a, a the ibuprofen here next, uh, and that's where I'm at. So this is this is just stage one. Um, I will let you guys know every couple days how it's going, uh, especially when I get the lowers in, and we will celebrate when this is all done. I'm done healing. I'm getting me a goddamn ribeye steak. I have not had me a good steak in forever because I can't chew it. I can't chew it. So, now I should. That's where we're at right now, guys. Um, I'm telling you, A1 Day Dentures in South, South Bend, South, South, where's that? Where the hell you guys at? Uh, Southfield, Michigan. Very impressed. Very impressed. Y'all. Take it easy and learn from me. Pull up your big boy panties. Get it done. Because my life has sucked as far as this shit goes for a long time until the last final tiny tooth I could actually chew with broke off on a piece of gum. And then I was down to bananas and peanut butter. So that's what it took for me to finally go in. I'll get back to you all later. Take it easy. See ya.